x squared y squared plus 4x y squared plus 3y squared. Um, we got some y squareds in there, which kind of makes this look trickier than it is. But remember, the first step is that we should always look at all three terms and see if there's anything we can factor out from all three. All three of these have a y squared in common, so that will certainly be a common factor. If we rewrite this, we would have a y squared, and then on the inside, we'd write all the terms without the y squareds. So this is what we have now, because we factored out the y squared. So the real question is, if we look at a trinomial like this one, is could you factor out this trinomial? And so hopefully by now you could, but if not, that's okay. So we're going to look at the C value, which is 3. C is 3. The B value is 4. Now notice at this point I really am just organ uh, I'm just ignoring this y squared. That's just to make it so it's easier to focus on what we're actually factoring here now, right? Three doesn't have very many factors. We've either got one and three, or we've got a negative one and a negative three. So when I add these two together, I get four. When I add these two together, I get negative four. This one's positive four, so we know we're going to be using these two values right here. Well, these two, that's better. I've got a positive one and a positive three. Uh, let's look at this by factoring by grouping. So I still have that x squared. I'll do it over here. x Don't squared. You have to have one so yeah, it, and you're right about that. Just making sure I like, don't have to like, learn how to do the extra work. Yeah, no. Until and, next time. <laughs> <laughs> well, and we'll get to it today, actually, right? So on this one, some of you know that this, those two factors would go directly into, at, into the two binomials right there, right? Uh, but if we just wanted to do it for practice sake and to torture people, then we would maybe write this as uh, 3x plus 1x, right? Because I split up the 4x and then plus the 3. Then factoring by grouping, since you guys seem to be okay with this, I would factor an x out from both of these terms. So I'd get x uh, plus 3 plus... From these two terms, I could factor out a 1, which would give me an x plus 3. Well, that was pretty convenient because uh, by factoring out an x plus 3 from both terms, I get this expression anyways. Yes, that is just what was inside the parentheses. Thanks for bringing that up. So we have an x plus 1 and an x plus 3. And I guess we don't really need those blue ones. But we got the y squared. And this would be our this would be our final answer. That actually so let's go back to that x squared plus four x plus three. And so I had factored it out with the three in front, but this time I'll put the one right in front. One x plus three x is the four x. We got x squared plus that garbage and plus this stuff. Now when we factor it out, the first two terms, we're still going to factor out an x. So that I got an x plus 1 now in the parentheses. And the second term, I'm going to factor out a 3, which would, again, give me x plus 1. It still gives me the same, the same two binomials. But, um, yeah, so the order doesn't matter which way we put those two. When we factor that out, we would have x plus 3, and then we factored out an x plus 1, uh, which the real answer is right up here at the top. Let's take a closer look at that. And yeah, so thanks for the reminder there. We'd have to remember to include that y squared in our answer.